Hi everybody, Sherry Moulton back. I am going to show you how I did a couple of these new paintings I've been doing with um, some broken glass resin spray paint and some sparkles. Um, I made a couple before. I tried a few videos and I thought I'd come back because these ones are colored. So I'm just going to show you what I have to put together and then I'm going to put you on pause for a minute and I'll mix my resin and then I'll come back. So this is the red canvas I have. It is spray painted. <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> it's spray painted with, um, oh, I've read my friend's side again. Uh, Rust-Oleum. It is times two and it's the gloss cardinal colonial red. So sorry. And it is based with the silver metallic from Krylon. And I based the whole thing silver. I came back to about here with the red. And then I came back with the silver just so it wasn't such a stark line. And the crystals, the sparkles I'm going to use on this one is Martha Stewart Garnet. It's a chunky. Her sparkles are so beautiful. This is also Martha Stewart Fine Glitter. It is garnet as well. Yeah, sorry. Um, I used to use these reds because when I made jewelry, I did resin my husband's military for 25 years. So I used to do the support ribbon jewelry and I had, uh, I used those. This one is a new blue I found in the spray paint. And it is um, Rust-Oleum two times again. It is satin and it is the seaside. And then again, I used the, the Krylon silver. Did the same technique, sprayed the whole thing. And then I did half up and then I went back with the silver. The colors on this one with the sparkles, glitter, I'm going to use is Martha Stewart again. This one's turquoise. Fine glitter. Chunky is also turquoise. And I'm going to, if I can remember, I forgot last times, I'm going to use her sterling silver, chunky and fine glitter. And this stuff is amazing. Recollections, it is extra fine glitter and it is bling. And it is bling and that's for sure. Whoops, <laughs> it come out. And my broken glass which is pretty sweet. I got that from Michael's as well. It is called a decorative filler and it's broken glass. And I think that's about it. I am going to show you the resin that I'm going to use. It is Enviro, Envirotech two part. It's actually quite nice. It's at Michael's. It's usually $54 or so, something in that form in Canada. And if you use your coupon, it's like 30s, which isn't bad. Because with this, you don't use a whole lot. I might need like a small cup, and that will probably do both, which is nice. So with further ado, I'm going to put you on hold, and I will go mix my resin. Okay, I'm just gonna set that properly, sorry. We're back again, I have my resin poured and we are gonna start doing this lovely stuff. All right, I'm using a sponge to apply. And again, we wanna go kind of heavy in the middle and then I'm gonna do some swipes down this way and swipes up this way, so I'm gonna Pour. I'll try not to use this whole one. I have uh, some coasters I've been making, so I've been every time I make one, I've been um, finishing off my coasters. So I'm just gonna brush, brush. Now, the last one I did, I did streaks, but I, I did them too far down. So I want to 
not go so far down and make sure I go straight. Just to even it. I think that looks pretty good. I want to straighten out those. All right, so the magic will come. I'm going to start off with my broken glass. I'm going to heavy in the middle. And then again, we let it dry for a little bit. And, um, well, that's a bit too much in my hand. And then um, we'll shake off the excess in about four hours, let them sit. Try and even it out a little bit. I wanna work a little fast so I my resin doesn't set too hard into the other cup there. Oops. There we go. Again, the excess will shake off, so I'm not too... We'll just go like that, just to speed up the process. to do is just give it a pat down on the ends where there's not ah, it's sticking can you tell I was spray painting <laughs> all right now here we come with the red fine glitter and red shake 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 The, the chunky and we're going to come with my this one here the bling oh my goodness just in the center, just to give it that little extra oomph. All right, number one down. I'm gonna slide this over to here. Pardon my head if it's annoying. Bring on my blue, and we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna try to find the center. We'll just use what's left in this cup. There we go. And we'll brush. You want to make sure it doesn't go over the edge. All right. Until it's starting to set, Mother Tuckers. Hope I have enough time to quickly do my uh, coaster, because if not, then I've wasted a whole bunch of cut resin. Yeah, I 
did a pink one and I found that I came too far down with it. So I don't want to go too far down. All right, here we go. Let's get my... I'll just do this quick so we can... And again, excess is all going to shake off what we don't use. And I will be doing um, a video of how I do my coasters. I tried them with just resin, but I was having a hard time with the colors to come out. So I started doing like a a flip cup and people really like them so I'm going to attempt to um, keep trying to do them with the flip cups because they look really pretty actually. So it's the only pain is you're touching the coasters like 10 times each almost because you gotta prime and paint and then resin and then paint the back and then you gotta yeah but anyways they're pretty all right that's enough for that I'm gonna give it a try to give it a pat like I did the other one just so that they sit into the end where there's not so much and you do have to be careful this glass <laughs> You can cut yourself because once it's in the resin, it is there. And I took them into work, and my one co worker touched it and then went, Oh my god, I cut my finger on your painting. So it's one of those be careful, it is broken glass, but it's so pretty. All right, my fine glitter, blue. I have to keep containers with the different glitters and the glass like I'll open up a new container for this one and then that way the next time I want to use the chunky ones I'm putting on I have already set in so I can just kind of use it that way there we go and the bling bling here we go Just, oh my goodness, it's coming up so fast. And that's with the sparkle in. The... But who cares? You can never have too much glitter. Well, there we go. I'm, ah, do I want to put a little bit here? Let's try. I didn't. Actually, no, I'm not going to use these because I don't want to waste them. Because they're so expensive, the Martha Stewart stuff. Okay, I'm going to let them dry for about four hours and I'll come back with you and we'll shake them off and let you see what they look like. See you in a bit.